hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice exponential equation problem so here we have 13 to the power of n minus 12 to the power of n is equals to 5 to the power of n and we will solve this problem for the values of n so uh, in this uh, lecture i can solve this problem for a unique method and here uh, now first i can just divide both of the sides by 12 so when you can divide both of the sides by 12 to the power of n then it will becomes in the form of 30 to the power of n over 12 to the power of n minus 12 to the power of n over 12 to the power of n and this whole is equals to 5 to the power of n over 12 to the power of n so in the next step you can see here uh, we have some simplifications needed here so that we will simplify the terms and now i can first apply here the nice exponential law and you know about this law uh, if we have a over b to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of n over b to the power of n so now we will use here this nice exponential law in the in these two terms and you can see here these terms are cancelled by each other and in the first term you can use here this nice law and you will get its output in the form of 13 over 12 to the power of n minus 1 is equals to 5 over 12 and its whole power n so in both of these terms we can use here this nice law and according to this law we will just um, uh, combine its exponent and we can write in this form and now you can focus on both of the terms and you can see here uh, you have 13 is greater than 12 uh, so if 13 is greater than 12 then 13 over 12 is greater than 1 and if 13 over 12 is greater than 1 then you can uh, take any power of n then you will always get 13 over 12 and its whole power n is greater than 1 so if this term is greater than 1 then uh, we can say that uh, this term is or this function be the increasing function and now similarly we can see on the right hand side and you have 5 is less than 12 and when we move this 12 in the left hand side you have 5 over 12 is less than 1 and when you can take any power n on both of the sides then you will see that 5 over 12 and its whole power n is less than 1 so this shows that 5 over 12 and its whole power n be the decreasing function and if you can focus on the left hand side if this function is increasing and then you can subtract uh, one on an increasing function then it will again becomes an increasing function so that we can just say about this one the left hand side is the increasing function and the right hand side be the decreasing function so that uh, if uh, uh, you can uh, draw uh, geometrically increasing and decreasing function uh, then you can uh, see uh, its graphical or visual representation in this form this is the graph of some increasing function and this is the graph of some decreasing function and here you see that these two functions are intersect at a unique point so it means that uh, if left hand side be the increasing function and right hand side be the decreasing function so these two functions are intersect at single point so that single point be the solution of uh, this problem so that now we can uh, find uh, this unique point in which uh, 13 over 12 to the power of n minus 1 and 5 over 12 to the power of n are intersect 
so uh, now we can uh, find this point by uh, inspection uh, and uh, here you have the question statement is 13 to the power of n minus 12 to the power of n is equals to 5 to the power of n and now we can uh, uh, check this function by the different values of n so now first I can check uh, this uh, on uh, n is equals to 0 after that we will check this one at n is equals to 1 and finally we check this at n is equals to 2 so now we can first check uh, um, this equation at uh, these three values so when you can put n is equal to 0 here then you will get 13 to the power of 0 minus 12 to the power of 0 is equals to 5 to the power of 0 and here you see that this is 1 minus 1 is equals to 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 is equals to 1 so it is not possible because 0 is not equals to 1 so it is not possible and we will reject it this case and now we can check at n is equals to 1 so when you can put here n is equals to 1 you will get 13 minus 12 is equals to 5 13 minus 12 is 1 is equals to 5 and this is uh, again uh, not possible and we will proceed at n is equals to so now we can check at n is equals to 2 so when we can put n is equals to 2 here then you will get 13 square minus 12 square is equals to 5 square so 13 square is equals to 169 minus 12 square is 144 and 5 square is equals to 25 so when you can subtract 169 minus 124 then it will be equals to 25 so here you see that 25 is equals to 25 and you can uh, say that just n is equals to 2 satisfies the given equation so n is equals to 2 be the only unique solution of this problem so uh, here you can see that uh, if you have you uh, need to find this unique point so this is the point uh, in which n is equals to 2 and this is the point of intersection in which these two uh, functions are intersect so uh, here finally we can just say that n is equals to 2 be the solution of this problem and uh, you can just this is the our final conclusion and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos